Hey guys, it's me, Christina, and uh, I have my March wrap up, some other favorites, and what I'm currently reading. So, um, the first book I read in March was Mundane by Taryn Fisher. This is about a, it's kind of like a thriller um, and mystery, and it's really good. It's about this girl who was taken and is in this like cabin in the middle of nowhere. And there's this other guy, and she has to look into her past, and it's really crazy, and I have a review, so, um, check it out if you have read it, because it's a spoiler review. Um, and I gave it a 5 out of 5. Uh, then I read, um, a Pucked Holiday Outtake by Helena Hunting, and I really liked it, it was really cute um it's just like a short like christmas story and i gave it five out of five uh then i read the second book in the puck series uh pucked up by helena hunting and i really enjoyed this it is um in the point of view of violet's stepbrother and i really loved it it was just so cute and funny and it was so great and I gave it five five stars. Um then I read I finally finished Clockwork Princess. It was so good. Um it was beautiful. I cried at the end. I just loved it. And I gave it five five, five stars. Then I read, uh, Kill the Boy Band, um, and I was just, like, eh about this book. I gave it three out of five stars. It was okay. It's about these girls who love this boy band called the Ruperts, and then they go, and it's, like, crazy, and then they end up kidnapping one, and it's just, like so crazy and weird and I just like was like what the heck is happening through this entire book and I didn't really enjoy any of these characters like um like it was just so weird and I just was like what the heck did I just read and yeah so I wasn't the biggest fan of this book I feel like you're gonna either love it or hate it um, I read the first issue of Lumberjanes, and it was really cute. It's like, uh, Girl Scouts with, like, supernatural stuff. Then I read the second issue of Lumberjanes, and I give it a four out of five stars. And the last book I read was Noragami the Stray God, Volume 1, and I really enjoyed this. It's about a god named Yato and he um he he's like a homeless god and he he like does he like people hire him to do things and they pay him and it's like it's funny and then he meets this girl through this circumstance and it's just really funny and enjoyable and I loved it so some other favorites this month were like my anime favorites was, um, Haikyuu, I think that's what, how you say it, but I'm not really sure, um, they had, like, the season two, uh, finale, um, like, the, and they're gonna be doing season three, which I'm very excited about, it's about these, it's, like, a volleyball anime, and it's just really funny, and, like, you get, like, so separate. In, into this like story and I just love the characters and like you have your favorites and like you, like you just get like so invested into the story and I just loved it. Some other anime that I'm watching is Gintama and Assassination Classroom. Assassination Classroom is like so weird but funny at the same time and I love it and um so yeah um what I'm currently reading is, uh, I, um, it's on my Kindle, it's, uh, Pucked, I think it's called Pucked Over, 
uh, which is the third book in the Puck series, and I'm really enjoying it. It takes, uh, the, there's these two characters that we met in the second book. These are in their point of view, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm reading Me Before You by Giorgio Moyes, and this is about a girl named Louisa, and she's, like, taking care of this guy named Will, and he's, like, really moody and depressed because he's in a wheelchair because of this accident, and, yeah, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm on chapter four, and I'm on page 45. I started, uh... Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, and it is a book taking place in 1945 about four teenagers, and it's in dual perspective, so, and, like, each chapter is, like, like, I think, like, a page, like, and it's really interesting, um, so far, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm still reading Because You'll Never Meet Me by Leah Thomas, and it's about Ollie and Mortez, and they are best friends, but they can never meet. I'm reading, uh, Noragami Volume 2, and it's really interesting. Um, this is the second one, and it's really good so far. I'm still reading November 9 by Colin Hoover. I really need to finish this because I love this book um, so much. And it's not like a bad book. I'm just like, just I don't know, reading other things. And I just like, I'm reading A Darker Shade of Magic by B. Schwab. It's about these like different Londons and it's about this guy and he's like from Red London and it's really interesting story. Um, I'm reading City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series, and I'm loving it so far. Um, I'm on page 33. And lastly, I'm reading 18 Years by Madison Coon. This is a book of poetry. And I am loving it. I'm on page 113. And it's just so beautiful. Like, the poetry is just so So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye, guys. Um, so, uh, I want to talk about my favorite books because I was about that. Again, I've filmed this twice. Um, so my favorite books this month were, um, Clockwork Princess, um, Mudvayne and uh I think that's it yeah those were my two favorites this month so I hope you guys enjoy I'll see you guys next time happy week bye guys